Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Please don't skip forward in this video. I'm just going to start right after I say thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers. It's been unreal. I hope my videos have been able to help you guys, and let's get started with this one. So the link should be in the comments. It should be a file dropper this time because people were having issues with the Google Drive. So if you just download it and bring it to your desktop, what we're going to do is hold down shift while we restart. So just hold down shift the whole time and then you'll get a screen that looks like this. You're going to click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then enable safe mode with networking. So now that we've done that and we've loaded into safe mode, we're going to open up my folder. We're going to go to the DDU, display driver uninstaller. Click no. See, it tells me that I'm not in safe mode. So make sure you do it in safe mode. So we're going to select device type, click GPU, and it should automatically click NVIDIA for you when you have an NVIDIA card. But if it doesn't, just click NVIDIA. Then we're going to use clean and restart. And that's the only thing for this step and let it do it everything else itself. Don't shut down your computer or anything. Okay, so now you've loaded back up onto your computer. We're going to go back into my folder. We're going to open NV clean install. We're going to go to manually select a driver version. Scroll down to 441.41 and click next. So if you do not use shadow play to record, make sure nothing here is checked. If you do use shadow play, just check all of these boxes under GeForce experience components. And also if you want HD audio, which I'm guessing most, most of you guys don't use it, you could check this box, but it's going to bring you more input delay. So now we're going to click next. So it's going to bring us to this installation tweaks page. We're going to check this one, clean installation. I used to do the expert tweak of disabling driver telemetry, but it doesn't do anything anymore. And if you do the HD audio sleep timer, you could disable this one, but I don't even have it installed, so there's no need to disable it. Click next, then click install. It'll bring you to this page that you're familiar with. We're going to click agree and continue, custom, next perform a clean installation. Okay, so first thing we're gonna run this batch file which will clear any profiles that are still in your folders if they didn't get deleted through the DDU. This won't delete anything that's like saved in your documents. It's, it only deletes the, it only deletes the cache that's under the actual like program files. This file's from Felipe. I'll leave his website in the description. So after we run that, we're going to run the smoothness.reg, which allows you to have the silk smoothness come up on NVIDIA inspector and the NVIDIA control panel. So now we're going to open NVIDIA profile inspector. Make sure you use this one and not a different one. So when this opens, we're going to use import, import profile. Unshow Fortnite NVIDIA, open, it'll say profile successfully imported. We're going to hit apply changes. We're going to type in Fortnite. We're going to click apply. And then we can back out of that. So now we want to open up the control panel. So I'm also going to run through the settings in here besides changing some things just so you guys can see what I use. So we're going to have to add Fortnite back. 
Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, 164. Brings you to this. So make sure that these settings show up darkened. This makes sure that the profile was applied. You may have to select your GPU here. Silk smoothness should be blacked out and off. PhysX, we're gonna change to our GPU and apply. Shouldn't actually do anything in Fortnite, but it's just good to have it on anyway. Now for the lowest input delay possible, you do not wanna use the NVIDIA color settings for your desktop or anything, because even though it's just a little bit, it's still post-processing everything before it gets to your monitor. So for everything, we're gonna use our default settings or the video player settings. So then we're also gonna do the same, do the same for the desktop colors. We wanna make sure that we're using no scaling if we have the option. This step is important. So a lot of monitors do run better on when you have the G-Sync on or like for me, I have a FreeSync monitor. This turns the FreeSync on for the monitor. They will run better with the G-Sync on globally, but off in game. So we're gonna wanna turn that on. And then for video and video image, we're just gonna keep the video player settings on. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna open the folder back up. When you use DDU to uninstall, it redoes a couple steps that I've done in previous videos. I'm just gonna show the MSI one right now. You have to run it as an administrator. Click your GPU, MSI, and go to high, click apply. If you've done my previous videos with the interrupt affinity policy tool, you also have to apply that. I'm not gonna go over how to do it again, but you can check out my previous videos if you feel like this one helps you, and you'll see a lot of steps, including this, that will help you increase your FPS and lower your input delay. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the Eva GA Precision X1. As NVIDIA talks about here, and the NVIDIA Reflex is what the boost option does, or the Reflex, even though we're not using it. It allows your GPU clock to stay high even when you're CPU bound. This is important when you're CPU bound in Fortnite. It will use more power, but it will also reduce your latency and help your game run a lot smoother. This is something I've done for a long time now and didn't realize it actually made a difference until I stopped using it. There's also a different way to do it with something called K-Boost, but there's no way to turn that off. And Precision X1 only works when it's open. So basically what you're gonna do is open the Precision X1. It'll look like this. You don't want the monitor to be running in the background. And then you're gonna use Boost Lock. You're gonna click a profile and hit save. Then when you're playing a game, you just minimize this in the background. And when you want your GPU to not be running on boost lock anymore, you just close the program. This works for all GPUs, not just the EVA GA ones, just as MSI Afterburner works for all GPUs. Let me know in the comments how this video worked out for you. If you have less stutters, if you have a lower input delay, if you're having an overall better experience with Fortnite. If you're not already, I do have a Discord where you can ask me and other mods questions about things that I've done in videos, where we test different tweaks that have been found on the internet to see what's working and what doesn't work. I've also added a channel for optimizations for the people that have been asking me to do everything for them. So check that out if that's something that you're interested in. Please leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you because it helps me as well. Peace out.